it becomes a lifestyle, you know, running isn't, it's never off. Like we're always in season and it's just what we do, it's what we love to do. One of her biggest gifts is she doesn't think she's above or beyond the program. She's very attached to everybody in the program. She knows she can win races, but she's very grounded and down to earth. And I think that that serves her very well. You know, in high school, I just, I just was good. But it wasn't until college that I really realized how much I loved the sport and I love training and, and competing. I certainly didn't think she'd be a 10-time All-American and a national champion. I mean, not many people achieve that. So I ran the mile at the national championships in Texas, A&M. We'll I think she is the favorite by far. Going into the race, I really wanted it this year, and so I knew that I had the speed, and I believed in myself, so I took it from the start, and I just pushed the pace the whole race. race as we come to the bell, it's still Currier, so it was neck and neck going down the straightaway, you know. And it was an exact replay of my race last year, except last year I did not win. I really wasn't even sure when I crossed the line if I had had won. We both looked up at the board and, and my name was first and I was just, I mean, there's no better feeling. That was my fourth time running the mile at Nationals, so I did it and I finally did it and I was, I was proud. You know, UNH is a smaller school as compared to some of the schools that I compete against and some of the names that I'm competing against, but I'm proud to wear the uniform and, you know, I, I couldn't be more proud of the Wildcat family. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without my teammates. They push me every day and, you know, we do it for each other too, it's not just for me. Pop's very flexible and he always is saying that academics come first. He does give us the opportunity to go to morning practice or afternoon practice any day of the week, whatever works better for us. Last year I was the Scholar Athlete of the Year for the America East Conference and that was honestly just a huge honor to be just recognized for, for my athletic performances and in the classroom. So nutrition, I think, goes hand in hand with running, and I think that both my degree and running complement each other. I feel like I'm constantly thinking about what I'm eating and how it's going to help me perform better. UNH has changed me in a few ways. I'd say that you know it's given me my education, but it's allowed me to grow. I mean, it's you know given me new perspectives and given me more of a global outlook on the world. And I've honestly made the best friends of my life here at UNH. I think her future is incredibly bright. She plans on continuing to run and run professionally. She's running the Olympic trials in 2016, so the next step is getting back in 2020. I think that as a professional, that's kind of your, your goal, is always to make it to the Olympics. <laughs> I mean, who knows what the future holds.